Hey guys, it's Mar. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my top tips for making sure that your house always smells nice and fresh. Now, if you guys didn't know, we have a toddler and a dog. So needless to say, there's a lot of potential for bad odors going on in my house. But over time and through trial and error, I have found different ways that kind of keep those odors at bay and keep my house smelling pretty fresh. So I'm here to share that with you guys. Okay, now I'm not gonna lie, my house is not always clean. If you guys have seen some of my clean with me's, then you know my house can get pretty messy. But one thing that I'm really proud of is that my house never stinks. So if you guys are interested in my tips for keeping your house smelling clean and fresh, then just keep watching. So my first tip is to use a mop with a removable and washable head. Because even if you're mopping up a clean floor, if that mop head retains any kind of moisture and you put it away, it's going to start smelling like mildew and then the next time you mop, you're going to spread that mildew smell all around your house. So make sure that your mop is removable and you can just throw it in the washer. I buy the Dollar Tree laundry detergent so I'm not really wasting any of the good stuff and I just wash my mop heads in that because I do mop probably every day or every other day. Also another tip with that is don't put fabric softener in when you're washing it because it'll kind of create a coating on the fibers and it'll make it less absorbent and less effective at cleaning. Okay, my next tip applies if you have carpets. Actually, you can use this on your upholstery too. So I always have at least one or two boxes of baking soda on hand. If I feel like our house is smelling a little bit stale I guess. <laughs> I just sprinkle a baking soda all over the carpet before I go to bed and then in the morning I just vacuum it all up and it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't leave any odors. It doesn't leave any kind of fragrance. It just really neutralizes any of that stale odor that can kind of linger in your carpet. Okay my next tip is to put dryer sheets everywhere. So you can put them under your rugs. You can put them under your couch cushions. You can put them between your trash cans and your trash bags. Put them everywhere. No one will see them and it'll keep your house smelling really fresh. Okay you guys, this next one is if you are a pet owner. It has happened to me, it has happened to all of us. I know even the most well-behaved, most potty trained dog has had an accident or two in your house. You have to admit it, it happens. I know it's frustrating, but it's just something that comes with owning a dog. So my most important tip for dealing with dog messes and when I say messes I mean pee. When your dogs pee on your carpet or on your rugs it is a painful thing. My dog is getting really old. She's 12 years old and even though we take her out every couple of hours we let her go outside to do her business she still has accidents in the house. The number one tip I can give you guys is to clean up those messes right away as soon as you see them. So I know sometimes it happens when we're not at home and we get home and the stain's already kind of dry, we don't know how long it's been sitting there, but unfortunately the longer it sits, the worse it's gonna smell. So as soon as you see that your dog has peed on your carpet or floors or whatever, clean it up. And what I like to use for moving pet urine out of my carpet is just plain white vinegar. So you can do it two ways. If you have a carpet shampooer, first just pass over it with water Make sure you're sucking all of that urine out of the carpet and then pour a generous amount of vinegar. Let it sit for about five minutes and then suck all that up too, followed by a water rinse. Leave that, let it dry. It might smell the next day, probably around 48 hours to fully dry. So just give it some time. But once it is completely, completely dry, it will not smell anymore, I promise you. If you don't have a carpet shampooer, you can just blot it up with toilet paper or paper towels. So what you can do is blot up the pee as much as possible, then pour some water on it, blot that up as much as possible, don't rub. You don't want to work it into the fibers, you're trying to just gently get it out. Then put vinegar, let it sit for a while, dab, dab, make sure you're blotting up until there's nothing left on your paper towel or toilet paper. And then again with water, same thing. Um, it's not gonna be as effective as using a carpet shampooer, but it will definitely help neutralize that odor. Okay, my next tip kind of goes with what I was just talking about. If you're a pet owner and you have carpet in your house, I think it is so worth buying a carpet shampooer and they're not as expensive as you might think. I got mine on Amazon for I believe it was $130, $120 or $130 and it works really well so there are affordable options out there. And like I was explaining earlier, that really is the most effective way to get rid of any kind of smells and stains that's going to suck up as much of that pet mess as possible. Okay, my next tip is to wash your dog's toys and blankets and beds frequently. So 
Our dog never takes her blankets, beds, toys outside, but she chews on them, she plays with them in here, and they kind of get that dog odor on them. So I like to wash them maybe once a month. You don't really have to go all out and do it every day or anything like that. You can just throw it in the wash, give it a good wash if you really feel like it smells. You can add in some vinegar. Vinegar, when you're a pet owner, will be your best friend. There is nothing like white vinegar when it comes to deodorizing pet smells. I cannot stress that enough. And it's like $2 a gallon, so that's another thing you can use white vinegar for. Just adding a cup in to the wash with your dog's blankets, toys, beds, things like that. Okay, my next tip seems kind of like a no-brainer, and that is to vacuum regularly. So even if your pet is not peeing and pooping on the carpet, they're still getting their hair and their dander and stuff like that on the carpet and on your upholstery, and it carries a scent. Believe it or not, it carries a scent, and it'll linger on your carpet and linger on your furniture. So if you can, ideally you should be vacuuming every day, especially if you have a long hair dog that sheds you should probably be vacuuming at least once a day or once every other day. Okay, speaking of no-brainers, this one's also kind of a no-brainer. Um, open your windows, even if it's just for an hour, get some of that fresh air circulating in your house because if your house is just closed up, there's nowhere for those smells to go. So open up your windows at least an hour a day. If it's a nice day, do it all day if you can. The longer you do it, the better your house is gonna smell. A lot of you guys might not know this, but we don't wear shoes in our house. That's something we just uh, kind of adopted after we lived in Korea. That's what they do over there. And it just seemed like a good idea to not track all that nasty stuff in. So, okay, we don't wear shoes in our house. I recently shampooed our carpets and I was so surprised how dirty especially like the main walkways were. And I know that's because we weren't wiping off our dog's paws before she would come back inside. Obviously we would do it if it was raining or if she was walking around in the mud or something like that. But what we don't realize is that just being out in the grass or just being out like on a dusty walkway, it's gonna trap all that dirt in their paws and they're gonna bring it in and it's gonna dirty your house. So what I like to do is have a little set area right by the front door. I keep all of our dog's leashes and collars and toys and little poop bags and things like that in there. And I also keep some baby wipes in there. So when she comes in, we're able to wipe her paws off and get rid of some of that nasty stuff that was on her paws. All right, you guys, so that is it. Those are my tips for keeping your house clean and smelling fresh when you have pets. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what some of the things are that you like to do to keep your house clean because when you're a pet owner, it's hard. So be sure to share your suggestions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.